In the 1950s, Silicon Valley benefited from convergences of Stanford University's entrepreneurial policies, the successful examples set by Hewlett Packard and the Varian brothers, plus the beautiful climate. In 1956, Nobel laureate William Shockley would bring to Silicon Valley the transistor and a team of the brightest young minds in electronics. Eight of these brilliant young men left Shockley to start Fairchild Semiconductor. Shockley called these former employees the traitorous eight. Fairchild was really the first major uh, fountain of all of this technology growth and, and, and invention. The only semiconductor uh, company that was here uh, prior to Fairchild, uh, any, any great uh, moment was Shockley Laboratories. Someone suggested we should talk to Bill Shockley because he has great insight into this kind of thing. So uh, the meeting was arranged and Bernie and I went over there and uh, we met with Shockley and Bernie described him what we were doing. And then Shockley asked a question like, does some phenomena happen in, at this point? And, and Bernie Widrow said, well, why would you expect that to happen? And Shockley looked at him and said, because Mother Nature's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, that's one way to look at it. It's my own experience that to uh, do creative work, one must overextend oneself. One must count on falling on his face, on getting into difficulties. One must learn from these failures and not be stopped by them. But, one, uh, but if one is taught that everything is neat and orderly, and one never gets into a mess when trying to do anything new, then he will be so conservative that I don't think he'll break new ground. I think the big contribution that can be made, uh, maybe the biggest educational contribution that could be made to the creativity of people, is to uh, persuade them that they shouldn't worry about making mistakes. This will be inevitable. With Fairchild Semiconductor, and its hundreds of spin-offs, sometimes called Fair Children, the convergence in Silicon Valley was now driven by a new cutting-edge technology, semiconductors aided by the arrival of venture capital.